Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at how you can import the payload from a SimBrief uh, flight plan into the Salty 747. Be aware that this is only available currently in the latest edition so make sure that you're running the latest edition of, Stal of the Salty 747 mod. Uh, the link is provided in the description of this video. Before going into the aircraft we of course first need to configure the payload and that's in this section of the flight plan right if you see the optional entries they are not required but they will allow you to set the passengers but also the freight so the freight can be either set to auto full or one of the other uh, values and the same is applicable to the uh, passengers which can either be set to auto full or and then zero to i would say the maximum value or yeah, the maximum number of passengers which you can add once you've done that right you need to make sure that you save a flight and then also generate a flight and we'll say hey i'm going to overwrite the flight plan well that's fine for us while this is doing its work we're going to jump to a uh, flight simulator because i would say normally this will take a few seconds and then it should be good to go it's really important that you wait that this is I would say, finished prior to performing the next task so we're outside of the SAL 247, so let's go, I would say, inside the aircraft. Uh, let me go aside, inside. So here we are. And then we're going to switch on the, I would say, default options. It's a little bit dark, as you can see. So we're going to switch on the uh, the external power, uh, which is over here. And then we're going to switch on the batteries. That's, that's good. Uh, we're going to make sure that these are set. And that's just what you would normally do also, right? Uh, in this case, we're going to, I would say, uh, not fly with this aircraft. So be aware of that, we're not going to do a real flight and we just switched on the APUs. So if we now would switch back to the uh, default view, uh, you can see that all the systems are eliminated and you can use your shortcuts which you defined yourself to quickly navigate to the cockpit. In this case we need to go to the salty because that's where all those nice features are integrated, right? The first thing is that you need to make sure that the SimBrief integration is set correctly. So make sure that the SimBrief ID is configured and you can find the SimBrief ID on your uh, SimBrief uh, account. And then based on that you can do multiple things. One of the things of course is import the view. So you can see that by default this is the active view and this is the selected view. And here you've got the OFP request. Now, if you press this button, it will send the request to uh, SimBrief and then we'll get all the values which it got from uh, SimBrief. And then you can, of course, uh, start the refueling process, which I'd say could take some time depending on how you configured it. Then you've got the uh, real fuel rate, right? And that is being set to real. And that's what I refer to, okay, hey, it depends on which setting you set here. Uh, how quick it is you can set either to fast to instant in that case will i'd say directly work real i'd say it takes a little bit longer right but you can see that it's currently refueled already so nothing to do anymore what we need to do if you make any change to the i would say view then you need to send a new ofp request right and then you need to adjust the uh, refueling process so what the people did from um salty is they also imported the same functionality now for the payload right you can see the payload over here and the payload you've got the same options you can set it to real fast instant in this case we can so we leave it to real and then we can use the same button here ofp request which will allow us to import all the functionalities so this is all the stuff which it uh which it has done right so it says hey the the packs is this this is the uh uh, selected cargo, uh, the zero fuel weight is now listed here nicely, uh, packs boarded, uh, the active cargo, and that's all done. So you can now press the start boarding and then you will see this number to start increasing as well as the cargo to increase, which means that the total payload will also start to increase. If you want to see the packs details, you can click on this button to show, okay, hey, where are the passengers located, right? So currently we're loading zone E, uh, and then we will follow by D, B and A and eventually uh, the UD if I'm correct. So that's all kind of cool new functionality. In the right corner you can see how much passengers have been loaded. And this will simply take some more time because we now set it to uh, real. If you of course want to do it I would say a little bit faster you can either set it to fast. In that case it will go a little bit faster. Or you can set it to instant which will directly load the aircraft. Uh, 
I would say, as needed. So that's, I would say, this video. In this video, we looked at how you can, I would say, use the new functionality to uh, automatically import the payload, uh, which is configured in the Simbri fly plan. There's, of course, a requirement that you install the latest version of Salty for 7. And, of course, you also need to have a Simbrief account, which you can create freely uh, on Simbrief.com. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.